Hi, it's Alan again. I'm really glad to see you guys are enjoying this lesson stuff I'm giving you here. Today I'm going to show you how to practice scale positions for guitar. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is bring up my trusty fretboard program. I'm building this still, so it might be a little bit flawed and kooky, but uh, here's how it works. If I play the A minor pentatonic, it recognizes that. If I play a certain chord, it recognizes it. So it'll help you guys see what I'm doing if, in case you can't see my, my fingers because I have fat sausage fingers, my students tell me. But all right, so that's not what this video is about. I just want you to be aware of what the hell you're seeing on the screen. Since most people are familiar with the minor pentatonic sort of thing, I'm going to start there. We're just going to practice through adjacent pattern, but we want to make sure you could do it on any string. Go up. <laughs> just like that and then you go up to the next position and then back down in that same string so on the high E string we're going up so we go all the way up the regular and now on the high E is shift then you come back down on the high E now the next one you're going to still go up on the high E right here but you're going to come down on the B string so you stay in that second position that we're in whatever you want to call it and then you come down on the B string all right next one is going to be the G string so you go up on the high E and then come down on the G string Next, what we're going to do is going to be the D string right there. See? Next one will be the A string right there. And the last one is just the top to bottom. So now you stay there the entire time until the bottom right there. All right, so that's the first iteration. Next one, you're going to open the up on the B string. All right, so now let's go up on the B right here. All right, now you stay there because we're going to come down on the high E. All right, so again, let's pretend we went through it. On the B string, we're going to go up stay there come down right there on the high e and then right back down now we're gonna do it again but this time on the b so you go up on the b down on the b right there see that next you're gonna go up on the b down on the g next as you might have guessed up on the b down on the d right there next will be up on the b down on the a now of course you're not gonna run them this fast next one the last one is the low next one uh, you're going to go take them slow, obviously. I'm just trying to... It's a three-minute video. So next, you want to go up on the G string and then stay there to the high E. B string. Next is G to G. Next is going to be G to D. And then G to A. And then the last one is G to E. And then the next is going to be D. So we go up... Now, of course, I'm just demonstrating this with a linear pattern. You want to do this with any sort of exercises that you're practicing, the connection between what your ear is expecting and what your fingers need to do, which is important. That's really good for improv because then whatever you hear in your brain, you could kind of get there and just do it.